Happy Turkey Day, Virtual Hoopers. This your boy, Ju King, the boss. And we got a lot of content coming out throughout the day on Thanksgiving um, because, quite frankly, uh, the holidays don't stop me from keeping myself moving forward, especially because each and every one of you are enjoying the new content, um, the, the direction we're going with the story in, uh, in NBA 2K21 Next Gen. And so I want to start this all by saying thank you. We got a lot of new subscribers over the past few weeks, over the past, since, since 2K21 has come out on Next Gen. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Uh, we, we're seeing new faces, um, new comments are coming in, and people are just enjoying it. So I want to say thank you because if you wasn't enjoying it, I don't know if I'd be able to feel as good about the content that I'm creating. I'm feeling even better with every single episode because you all are enjoying it. So it's really allowing me to really have some fun with it. Now, speaking of today's video, I do want to talk about 2K21. Not nothing too too extraneous. Well, it might be a little detail, but let's focus on the, the latest patch. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and go over all the patch notes or nothing like that. Um, you've already heard a lot of people go over the patch notes. Um, I really want to talk about the one main takeaway that everybody focused on. And that is, of course, the fact that in that they finally fixed the uh, the, the, the choppiness issues with within the city games of 2k21 now to me just like everybody else that's a big w that's a big win because one thing for certain two things for sure uh them city games they're short they're to the point and then with the different backdrops and the different little you know uh scenery it really makes you allow you to change it up every now and then you know sometimes you want to play uh in sunset i mean damn, i was about to say sunset sometimes you want to play south side sometimes you want to play with uh in the beast territory sometimes you want to play north side nights some people are going for top rep and they prefer to do that in park some people you know what i'm saying like just don't want to play rec because of the length of games having these city games be available and accessible and uh and actually run smooth enough to be uh, uh playable is the biggest complaint that the 2k community has had and i understood it there was some other issues and everything like that but i figured the first issue that needed to be fixed was of course the uh choppiness because when it came down to contact dunks i knew that contact dunks was a big thing but the issue i was having more so with it is i couldn't make a a guaranteed assumption of contact dunks because frame drops and latency creates a delay in button and in input uh in input so if you're on defense and everything and you can kind of see what the player is about to do, you can anticipate it. But because of the frame drops and the latency combined together, it was creating more contact dunk scenarios because essentially you would get pulled into areas. There were other issues that created those scenarios as well, but I, I wanted to see how it would go if once they fixed the choppiness and we just had to deal with the base latency that we're used to dealing with. Now, speaking of latency, because that's what the main topic of this is um 2k I, I i knew that this was going to happen at one point was that we was going to get a, a an environment that was going to be so massive that it was going to you know uh cause an increase in latency because we're still getting an increase in latency in certain areas and i'm you know i play with a hardwired connection you know what I'm saying pushing out uh, uh i think like 500 megs when i'm playing the game and everything so when it comes down to it uh, I keep the quality of my of my signal is always strong, and even I still see some issues. I'm not saying you know me falling out of games or nothing like that, but you know I still see some issues, and so it made me it begged me to to, uh, to ask the question if the server structure that 2K uses is truly the problem. And I've heard people say you know they need to invest in more servers and you know uh, uh, increase their servers, and I really just think that it's the structure, not just increasing the server structure not just increasing the server load. Um, I really think that it's, it's about time where 2K changes um, the server platform. Now, for the most part, I think a lot of people believe that 2K uses Amazon Web Service. I haven't found anything that corroborates that, but there are some 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 articles out there that do you know lean towards Amazon Web Servers, and that's what 2K rents for uh, for their for their park games. And I was always hoping that going into next gen. We were going to see a changing of the guard when it came down to it because since gaming and especially cloud gaming has been comes become such a big thing you got companies that are literally out there with the goal to expand upon that now i don't want y'all to think that this is some sort of some sort of plug or you know saying me trying to you know advertise something for you because that's not what it's about i've been looking at how these things evolve over time amazon web servers have you know a reach a, a, a bigger reach 
in the world when it comes down to uh, clients that they can take on because they have server locations in these areas. And I can understand that's why 2K is kind of still sticking with them. But at one point, you got to kind of change over. And I really think that it's about that time that they start going with the uh, with the Microsoft Cloud um, platform, uh, Azure. And I won't say Azure no more because I really keep thinking I'm saying it wrong. But I think it's about time they switched over to that. And there's a couple of reasons why. We know that 2K focuses more so on console development when it comes down to NBA 2K. Uh, and we know that Microsoft in the past, Microsoft and Sony have joined up in a little bit of a, of a partnership a little bit of agreement when it comes down to cloud gaming and when it comes down to switching over to the microsoft cloud platform i think that it's going to benefit the console gamers uh more so than than not and that's mainly because that cloud gaming for microsoft is their bread and butter they got x cloud and they, they keep trying to improve it and create a better a better structure that is increasing the quality of the games and that's what i want to see moving forward so if you got a company that's focus is we want to make sure that our our servers can play games anywhere in the world then that's where i put my money at most of the other cats that use most of the big names that use amazon web servers are cats like you know twitch um uh netflix um Hulu, I mean, like a lot of streaming services, video streaming services. And let, let's be real. Like I've watched some videos on Twitch and everything like that. And even with a high tier connection, even I get choppiness there. And that's just me watching a video of a cat playing a game. So I'm looking at it and saying that is it really smart for 2K to continue to go in the direction that they're going with the Amazon Web Service? So I was hoping that this would be like one of the first things that we really see get changed going into next gen. But I'm looking, I'm hoping that within the near future, especially for 2K22, because I think that if they decide to switch over, um, there will be parts of the, and I understand that's where 2K is kind of going to be met with the dilemma because Microsoft's uh, cloud platform isn't available in as many spots as Amazon Web Service and everything. But I truly believe that if, you if more game companies are jumping in on that bandwagon to focus on you know uh, uh being able to play games at a high quality um a high refresh rate especially because when you look at things like increased frame rates on systems when you look at things like uh uh increased uh um, um quality visual quality so going from 1080p and 720p to you know all the way up to all the way up to 4k and and then they're trying to go next next up to 8k like when it comes down to it Amazon web servers are built for, you know, streaming video extremely well, extremely effective. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when it comes, but if you're a gamer, you're looking for response time, input lag and things like that to be cut down to a minimum. I think it's time that 2K switches over to uh, the Microsoft cloud gaming platform. Now, like I said, this is just my opinion on it. And I wanted to bring that to you guys because these are the things that go on in my head when I'm not playing a game. Uh, sometimes when I am playing a game, it's like I really think they can benefit by switching switching things out in this aspect. Because really think about it. We've heard the same complaints over and over about uh, lag and latency and park and even in rec and even in pro-am. We hear the same thing every year. And people look at it and just put the blame solely on the dev team over at 2K. And it's it's got to be deeper than that. The it, it, we, we, like some people look at it and say, yeah, it's the server side structure, but I don't think it's just increasing the server load. I think it's changing the server's structure because Amazon Web Servers, they get updated and upgraded. And, and you know, what I'm saying they make big improvements over time. But because the majority of their client base streams videos, it's not about playing video games. Real talk. It's not about playing video games. And so I want to see it go to the aspect of of being about playing video games and 2k understanding that basically essentially look at it like this when it comes down to it 2k has a game that's running at 4k on some screens uh 1080p on other screens and 60 frames per second being the base okay we have we have really taken a step up and back back then when 2k first started doing you know parks and uh and, and and neighborhoods when they first started doing park back in you know 2k what 2k 14 2k 15 okay when they first did it then the the big the, the biggest thing out there was 720p and 30 frames a second on console and look at the leaps that we've taken since then 
2K just switching over to 60 frames a second as the base for online gaming, right? Like when it come down to it, if you played 2K on PC and you were playing a career game, I was running that bad boy at 120 frames. Good God, it looks like a faster game. But when it comes down to moving to where we are now, it's I think it's time that that that, that the uh, that the team over at Take Two uh, look at it and say, look, we have to focus on changing up uh, uh, our server load. Because I would love to know if if a game like Grand Theft Auto is suffering the same kind of fate because of that. Like you know, server structure really does dictate the input and the uh, and, and the latency and the lag and just the overall gameplay experience. So. I'm, I'm, I didn't mean for this to go more than 10 minutes. I just wanted a quick share with you guys about where I think 2K could go when it comes down to fixing the server structure, when it comes down to benefiting the game in the long run. Because I think if they continue to go with Amazon Web Service and Amazon doesn't start to focus uh, a little more on building a better, uh, a better structure for games at high rates, okay? We talking 60 frames a second being the new base minimum for consoles playing online. I'm not talking about offline. I'm talking about online play. We're talking about uh, 1080p and 4K being the interchangeable norm playing online. So if we're looking at that, add that on top of the fact that, that people are streaming and, and, and doing this and doing that, you got to hope that 2K at one point looks at it and says, hey, it's about time we really switch out uh, the server structure. I mean, there are other, there are other platforms out there. Uh, I know Google has their own structure when it comes down to uh, cloud computing. Um, I haven't done too much research into that. I don't know if I would use that for games because to me, that's another one that's more like Amazon. Like they're going to be, they're building more so like, first of all, look at Stadia. I don't mean to kind of crap on that project and everything, but like the frame rates in games are not good. But compare that to a game, compare that to like xCloud, all right? Like real talk, if you never tried out xCloud, try out xCloud if you, well, if you, if you can, and everything it isn't bad it isn't bad and it's a great base for when it come down to streaming streamlining a game straight to a, a system and don't get me wrong nvidia shields actually another phenomenal one as well i don't know if they have a, a a platform where they're focused on you know like selling servers to other companies that can utilize their service for their games but nvidia shield um, uh, well, nvidia geforce now another one that's a that's phenomenal and everything but i would love to see if they switch over to the uh to the cloud let me know what you think down below um like i said we got more videos coming out today this was just a little uh discussion piece a side piece not many of y'all are gonna see it um but if you like it then make sure you uh, hit that like button um give me your thoughts down below on what do you think and truly truly fix the latency lag and server based issues that we get with each year's installment of nba 2k once again have a happy holidays happy thanksgiving happy turkey day happy family day whichever one uh, whichever one you want to call it hell happy thursday if that's what you call it you know um and this your boy you came the boss i gotta get back in this kitchen and get the get the get the grub started because uh you already know i'm cooking on three different levels i cook on the court i cook on the content and i gotta cook in the kitchen i'm gonna catch you guys later peace